Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Minecraft from this to this. So don't watch till the end because this video is divided in sections that you can skip if you want to but you will be missing some good good information. Well, you're bad. To install this latest and better version of Distant Horizon, go to your browser and search these mods. Also you can check description for links. Easy life hack. Now go to all those links and download each and every mod one by one. I am hoping that you are not on that stage of your life where you downloaded the file and you don't know where you downloaded like me. So just don't lose the location of where you downloaded the mods and keep them in a folder neat and clean. Now smash that windows R and when this little guy pop up type percent app data percent or just go to your minecraft directory and go to mods folder. Keep this window open while making another one and locate where you have downloaded all those files. Now drag and drop all these files into mod folder and we are done. Now open your minecraft launcher and what the hell is this? Huh? Okay. So look for installation tab and go to your minecraft version and click on these three dots and again click on more options and here you can change how much ram you wanna give to your minecraft. I suggest putting all the ram you have even though distant horizon claims that they have improved their mod and now it can run with less ram too but more is better so I'm gonna put 8 g ram because that's all I have. Now save and launch your minecraft. But before you do that, go to your mods folder in minecraft directory and just cross check if you got all the correct version of every mod or this won't work and you will be suffering like me for hours trying to figure out the problem. Now go back to minecraft and go to settings and you will see these green boxes beside your FOV. Click on it and you will be inside the menu. Turn first setting false for now and here you can set LOD render distance. In short, how many chunks you wanna load. The least amount you can put is 32 and you can make your way up from there. In quality preset keep it to medium and CPU load to aggressive for now. And then click on advanced option go to graphics render quality and here you can change horizontal resolution. In normal terms, how blocky your LOD will look. Keep it 2 blocks if you're really suffering with low FPS any lower will not look good. And that's it, check if you got the same setting as me and go all the way back and create a new world. So now I'm gonna tell you how to use Chunky easily. It's a mod to load chunks in open world without you having to visit them. So to start Chunky just press F3 and type a command slash Chunky Center and your coordinates where you wanna start loading chunks from. Hit enter and now type slash chunky radius. Now here you can set how many chunks you wanna load. I'm gonna load 1000 for this but you can sure put as many as you like depending on your system performance. Now for the last time type slash chunky start. A progress bar will show up above your screen. If it doesn't, don't worry. You might be using older version of chunky. Just type slash chunky progress to know how much is done. And again, depending on your PC specs, it will determine how much time it will take to load all those chunks. For me, 1000 chunks will take around 10 minutes but it can be different for you so just leave your Minecraft running and go outside. Or do some push-ups or handstand or cook something to eat. After your progress is done, just simply leave the world and join again. Now turn on distant horizon and keep your CPU load to aggressive until you see everything is loaded. After that, you can make it balanced. And now for shaders, we have 3 or 4 options personally. If you're trying to run this on your potato PC, that I highly recommend not to do. But if you feel like torching your toaster, use BSL shaders with minimum settings. And if you have a very good PC that took all your money and organs to buy, you should torture it by using bliss shaders on high or medium settings. One extra tip I learned from very popular YouTubers, so no credits, that you can tweak cloud settings to make bliss shaders look more good. But it will cost you more performance and if you really still wanna try, go to bliss shaders settings and from there you gotta do what I tell you. So first go to fog settings and turn on this render cloud as fog setting. This will decrease performance because fog is heavy and puts more stress on your system. No reverse pun intended. Now go back and go to cloud settings. I'm not gonna pronounce that name and just go down below this weird cloud settings and you can see coverage put it to 0 0.9 and height to 1.20. And enjoy your dream of touching clouds. Oh, subscribe, go away. Uh